Hi guys, welcome to David Shambles How To Videos. Uh, on this one I'm going to show you how to copy a PS1 game to a CDR. Um, so you can run it with your uh, you know, your jailbreak PS3 or your um, soft modded PS2. I mean you could you could use uh, this doing the, the, the CD swap as well, you could do that for a PS2. You open it up and you can do the the swap where you, you put a original game in, let it spin fast, take it out, swap it with a copy, then swap it with the original, then swap it with the copy again and you can do that. Check YouTube, there's a couple of uh, videos of people doing the, the swap thing to get um backups running. But I mean this I mean I've got a, a PS3 on custom firmware, three five five that will run copied PS1 games. So for this, um, you can use this. This is called uh, Alcohol 120%. This is the trial version, and you can you can do videos uh, onto discs, and you can do um, DVD movies as well. You can copy DVDs and stuff like that. Basically, what we're going to do today, we're going to do a PS1 game. <clears throat> So um, this we need to go to the file of where the PS1 game is, you know, stored. So once you've downloaded a, um, a copy of a game which you originally own, um, inverted commas. Um, so yeah, if you um, get a copy of a game which you own uh, and download it from a site such as as a uh, you know rom hustler cool roms or dope roms uh put it on your usb stick or put it to uh desktop or in my documents you can put it there um just so you can find it later so what you do then once you open your alcohol 120% over on the left hand side you can see there's a thing called image burning wizard okay so we click on that it brings up this little page and it says select an image file you would like to burn. Okay, so here it says C drive documents settings blah 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 blah. We don't want that because that's another that's a different one I did earlier. So you go to browse. Okay, click browse. Uh, go down to where it's stored. So mine's in my computer, and it's on my 32 gigabyte USB drive. So we click on that. Double click on that, right? And so there it is. You can see here it says SLUS 0075 Spider Man. Okay, that's the American version of Spider Man. So double click on that again. There's another file. Click on that, and you see here CCD. Well, that's the best copy you can do from, right? Some other games you download may say bin and Q files, or they have two files in, yeah? But the CCD is the actual image, the CD image with the information on it. So CCD is basically the best one you can do, but you know don't be confused if you get one and it says uh, blah 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 bin and then um, a Q file with it. I mean some other ones have like ten bin files and one Q file. All right, with that you just pick the highest one, okay, as the main one, and then you check a little function off, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so with this one with CCD it's one file, so you just highlight that. Okay, and open. All right, now it's gone to that direction now. So it says Spider Man's in G Drive. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Right, okay. So then we go to next here. All right, and then the right speed, you want to take that down to eight times. Okay, the lowest setting on the right speed, it's got to be the lowest possible setting. Sometimes it'll say eight times, sometimes it'll say four times. All right, but it's got to be the lowest possible setting on there. All right. And then down here, you can see the bottom left. It says PlayStation already, so we don't need to change that. I mean, you can do you can go through different things like uh, safe disk. Uh, it's got PS2 there as well, but you know other things: video CD, customized on VOB protected CD, uh, audio CD, karaoke CD. So you can put information on the karaoke CD as well. But then uh, with this PlayStation one, so you've got PlayStation one, PlayStation two. So we click PlayStation. All right, click on that. Let's see, it's gone back up to maximum again, but we don't want that. We want to take that down eight times, okay? And then check rectify sub channel data. So if you're doing that one, I said with um, it's got two files in or loads of files. So you click the bin file, you've opened that, and then once you get to this page, 
click on rectify sub channel data because that reads for like um, audio tracks and stuff like that that are on the disc. I mean, I've burned so many discs without clicking that, and I've had no music on there. But since doing that, I had music, so it, it, I know it works. So we've got that all checked, okay? So the rectify sub channel data is checked. We're on PlayStation. Raw DAO is what it needs to be on, and then we're on eight times. 1200 kilobytes per second, right? So then you go to start, and there it is, it starts buffering. And you've got G Spider Man SLUS 87.5, 606 megabytes. Okay, so that'll do that. Now, this will go, this top bar will go all the way to the top up to 100%. This one here will come down. Okay, so that one comes down, the top one goes up. Alright? But for the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a copy I made earlier. Um, just to show you it's working quickly. So we'll change over to my PS3. Okay. And just to prove to you... <coughs> Alright, just to prove to you that if I go to the top... Up here, that you can see, there's a game there, and then here there's a pa the package map. In between there should be the disc icon. There's no, no disc icon at all. See, not at all. So if I go down to my, my backup manager, which is Multi Man, and then we'll let this load up, and I'll show you, and then you'll you'll be able to see because I've have I have the copied disc in the drive already. But like I said, the PlayStation wouldn't recognise it because you can't do the swap trick with this so we get it to load up and then you see there it says Crash Team Racing NTSC that's the PlayStation 1 game All right. There's some other games, the PS3 games and then you've got Crash Team Racing PS1 right? click on that And there you go, it starts. So you can play your backed up PS1 games. I mean, I just find it easier because uh, if you put loads of PS1 games onto your hard drives, you waste your space for other stuff you want to put on there. So by putting them onto a CDR, you're saving space and you've got them there as copies in, as a physical presence, rather than on a hard drive where you could lose the data. There you go guys, I hope this helped. Any questions, leave your questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.